Hey guys, Michelle here from Cashel Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today I wanted to share with you something that I'm doing with my dies. <laughs> I realize how many I have as soon as I start pulling them off my cart. Um, I'm trying to organize them better mainly so I know where my dies are, what dies I have to start using them. Um, so I noticed that I also have a bunch of stamp and die combinations and I'm trying to keep them together so that way I can have access to them at the same time and not go searching for um, each section in different piles. So anyways, what I've discovered, <laughs> and I'll put all the links to everything I'm using, none of it is... Um, affiliated it's it's just what i'm using i wanted to share with you guys so if you do have a i want to say a mountain not a stack a mountain of sizzix dyes that you've been collecting or hoarding um because you could do, be doing both they don't come with um magnet sleeves inside what i have found and this is what i wanted to share with you first was a stack of 25 this thing is really heavy and i bought three in one shot because i counted all of my sizzic um, sleeves to see what i needed and um this is a five by seven magnet um sheet and of course the sizzix container is a lot smaller so i couldn't find one that fit the exact same one to be affordable i'm sure they're out there for sizzix but i wanted to look at affordability because obviously if you're like me, you have a lot of them. <laughs> so um, what I wanted to share with you and what I've been doing off camera is I have been putting all of mine in um, magnet sleeves. So as you can see, my thickness is not as big as to oppose my thickness because all the dyes go toward the bottom in a cluster. And so I really want to allow myself to buy more because who doesn't um but also the availability to fit as many as possible on the shelf that i purchased which hopefully when that comes in later this month i can share it with you guys because i'm really excited about it um i got the cubby from create room i think is what it's called um so hopefully when that comes in i will do a thing with that but anyway back to what i wanted to share with you so what I decided to do was I bought the 5x7 <laughs> going off track here and so what I did was I cut them down to 5x6 and 5x6 fit perfectly. Um, so I want to do one with you real quick and so what I'm using is the um, Tim Holtz, I think this is the rotary blade. I didn't use my slicer because I felt like this is what I like to use for chipboard and the magnet. And I think it's like 0 0.06 millimeters or 0 0.6 millimeters. The description will give you the option. So I just slide it here to the six inch marker, hold it down and I just slice it. And I have like, you can see how many I've been doing. I have a stack of them. <laughs> now, I am one that tries to use my scraps as much as possible. And so I'm probably going to come up with a project to use these because I don't want to waste them. I mean, it's a whole inch there, but I'll figure that out later. So what I wanted to share with you is how these magnet sheets work. So here is one that I cut down and I got to figure out which one goes because there's one that's more durable this one so this side is more durable in the magnetic portion than the other side but I have found that if your die set that you're trying to put here does not give you enough space this one seems like it will and it's kind of like, I don't know about you but I find it very therapeutic <laughs> trying to make them fit like a puzzle um, so what I would do is I would, um, put them all down and then as you can tell, I'm trying to rearrange them all to fit and make it work. 
Now I'm gonna show you for the purpose because this one, I don't see how it's gonna go anywhere, right? Because it doesn't fall off, but I do have that bulk. So what I've discovered is I will actually stick. Like you can see, none of my dies are coming off, but this side is not as strong as this side. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna buy these. Um, the other thing I do wanna mention is, yeah, there is some flimsy flimsiness to it, but the whole purpose for me is to keep them flat in my sleeve. I'm not mounting them on the wall. I don't feel like they will fall. I have them all up in my container and voila, thin, perfect, exactly how I want them. So just something I wanted to share with you if you're thinking about getting um, magnet sheets. I'm sure there's tons of options out there. I just wanted to share with you what I'm using in case you're unsure or you've seen it but you're not sure if it's working for you. That is what I'm using to fill my magnet sheet on the inside. Now, we have <laughs> um, options here where you have the stamp and die combination. So I picked a few. Um, I will share with you, this is the size that I purchased. Um, again, it's from Amazon. The same kind of concept as the other one, the magnet sheet is stronger on one side, but can also hold it on the other side. And these is this set is a sleeve with a magnet sheet and label dies all together in one package. So I really, really like that. Um, I've already bought five of these. <laughs> so I'll share with you um, some of the ones I've already put together. And these are all my Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, as you can see, it's very nice and flat. And as you can see, I have my label on both sides as to what they're, what um, the item is because the packaging was just making it very bulky. And again, when I get my um, cubby from Crate Room, I really want to be able to just put it together and insert all my products. And that way, um, I've already done the legwork. So as you can see, I'll take this out for you to view as well. Hopefully you guys can see. See, everything is on it. Nothing's falling off, but it is not perfect, okay? Um, so again, let me make sure I'm doing it on the right side. <laughs> it's just something to share with you guys if it's something of interest. If you want something more durable, definitely check the reviews to make sure it's something that you want. Um, but I was very excited. I got all my Elizabeth Craft Designs all organized, and I'm like over the moon excited. Um... But when you don't have, or when you do have stuff like this, I felt like I got two different sizes. So this is again is, I think this is a nine, nine and a half by five and a half. Um, I should have checked my measurements beforehand. Let's just open it up and share with you guys. So who's excited to be organized in 2024? <laughs> I still am. I like. I feel like I was putting off this project for so long. Um, I think it was more of I wasn't sure what to purchase. So I am not cutting down these magnets. I'm leaving them as they are. And then here are the sleeves. And these sleeves again are very thin. And I like that there's not a lot of bulk. And I want to say there's 15 envelopes. 15 magnets is what I think it is and so these sleeves let's measure them right yeah it's nine nine and five eighths but I guess nine and a half is what I would say by seven and a quarter okay so definitely check that out and then if you want to know the magnet size the magnet size is going to be about eight and seven eighths. No, a little bit more than three fourths. Eight and three fourths by six and five eighths. I think that's five eighths or six and a half. But um, 
So again, I got to figure out which side is which. So we're going to do the spooky party with Brutus Monroe. This is a stamp and die set. As you can see, I've not used it yet. That will change because this is a cute, cute set. And what I love is throwing all this stuff away. I think it's so fun to clean. Um, so what I'm going to do is see which side. As you see, it doesn't really stick. So then this must be the side. So as you can see, it doesn't, like, again, it's it's flimsy, but since I didn't break it apart, it's fine. And so what I'll do is I will put the stamp on this side. Now, this probably could stay with it and just slim it down. So why don't we do that? That way I don't have to put a label on it. And that way I can also see the stamps. So then what I would do, doesn't really matter which way it goes. Put this in here. And voila! So now I have it all together. Now, of course, this will have a little bit of bulk because of the stamps. But at least I know that when I want something spooky... I have my both my stamp and my die together. So another thing I wanted to share with you as well, these two are from the same collection, but they are two different. One is Flourishing Holiday and one is St. Nicholas, but this was from the traditional tidings kit that I purchased. So it does have a coordinating dies on the back. So you have one of two options. My choice is to keep them together because they're holiday related, but if you wanted them separate, I did choose <laughs> another kit that is smaller, okay? I was been playing with it. Um, I did the same thing. I bought more of these as well. And so you know what this size is. And again, all the links will be down below in case you're interested. This one is about seven and a half by five and a half. And so the magnet, let's open one. I want to say they're by the same manufacturers, but I could be wrong. And then the magnet here is seven by five. So again, it kind of gives you perspective, but I wanted to kind of keep them together. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do the same concepts. And we're just going to figure out, I think it's the opposite side. Let's see. Yep. So what I'm going to do is have it like this. How does it? Okay, the same thing if I just remove the word stamp. So I'm going to have the stamp on the back because that's the non-magnetic um, side. So I'm going to put that back there. And then the same thing with this little one. here okay and we're gonna shave this down real quick okay did I get it there we go all right so I guess it's not the right side oh wrong way <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this again in its own sleeve. This side was this one. This side is this one. And we're going to open this up. And there we go. Now, it might move around um, the stamps because I'm putting them side by side. It doesn't bother me because, as you can see, they lay flat. But I got two of them in one. So again, it's something to just think about. Instead of using two of these, I used one of these. So not every time does that work, but I definitely wanted to share with you. And then one other thing I also wanted to share, I think it was this one, another thing, okay. So these two I picked up during the holiday. As you can see, I still did not use them. <laughs> Seems to be a trend, have you noticed? Um, but these seem to fit in one of these, okay? So we're gonna see if it works. So we're gonna use, again, 
one of the magnets. I think it's this side. Let's see if I'm right. I just find this so like invigorating. <laughs> I hope that's the right way to say that. Um, so here we go. We'll have that one on this side. Um, and then let's see if we can keep this. I think it's going to be too big. So I'll just write that on the other side and put that there. And then this one, again, since I haven't used it, it's not taken apart yet. So it's still all one piece is what I'm referring to. But there you go for that side. So all I have to now do is see if these fit on this side. And they kind of do. I mean, I could probably shave off. Although I don't think it really matters, does it? There we go. And the sleeve for this one. Let's see how it fits. I kind of like it. Not terrible. If it bothers me, I can always change it later. There we go. And so what I like to do with the naming of them, so mantelpieces and the wreath welcoming her, her. And I do like to put um, Brutus Monroe. Only because if for some weird reason I don't remember, um, I have a way of telling you guys if I use it during a lot during a video or for my own sanity, <laughs> because you know, you forget things, it's life. And that way I won't forget it because it's there. And then what I would do is probably put mental pieces is on this side and I think it's already dried. We'll just peel from the top. So I will put it here, and this side I will put here. And there we go, we got two in one. So that one is done. And then one other thing, as you can see, look at all these pieces, I can just throw away. My garbage people will not be happy with me, right? Um, there was something else I wanted to share with you. Oh. So for example, here is one that doesn't have a matching um, stamp set. It's just pure dyes, kind of like Sizzix. And so I would probably just use one of these five by sevens and I don't need to take anything apart, but this is what I try to do. This is kind of fun if you're watching TV and you, don't, you want to keep busy with your hands. Um, so I will try to find the bigger pieces and make sure I don't break them. And I will try to figure out where I'm going to place them. And so I try to use the bigger pieces first. Um, and that way, if I get stuck, see like this one I can put here. So that will open me up for some space in there. This one, we can put it this way, and I wanna put it as close as I can to the edge. Then we have some ziggly lines or squiggly lines. And we can do is occupy this dead space in the center. So that way I can utilize some of this space here if I need to. And the same thing, oh, I brought some tape with me. And the same thing here. Let's see if I can fit this one in. No, it's not gonna work. Can I fit more than one, two in here? Probably. There we go, let's see. That one's not gonna fit. Oh, that one fit. And then this one, I'll just put inside. And now I have all these fun pieces to play with <laughs> to kind of figure out where they're gonna fit. Um, let's see, maybe I put this one and you see, like, I just lifted it up and some of them came up. That's okay. Again, the whole purpose is just to make sure that they get where they need to go. But if you are one that likes to have it more sturdier, I totally understand that. But that, to me, might cost more money in the sense of the product. Because I felt like um, 
you might get the thickness or the durability, but you the quantity won't be as many, if you know what I'm saying. So we do that. So pretty much it's like a puzzle in my mind. You know, if you like puzzles, this would be perfect for you. So it's just playing around to figure out what works and how to utilize your dies. You definitely don't want them t overlapping on one another. Here's one that could possibly put another one in it. Let's see. No. But that fits there. I have this big balloon and a present. There's a lot of pieces on this one. So I have this star. Let's see if it fits in here. Oh, perfect. We have some palm trees. Here we go. Oh, maybe I gotta move this guy. Okay. So it seems like I am running out of room and I have a lot of dye still. We have an Easter egg. Okay, so now what do I do? Because I have one, two, three, four left, right? <laughs> so I'm going to just carefully because these are really stacked on they're really good i'm just gonna flip it and you see one came out don't be afraid and now i'm gonna just put them on it okay now where's my oh it's in here For some reason I was short a magnet unless I put two magnets in one <laughs> so we'll figure that one out when I go through them again okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it up from a corner I'm probably gonna lose some so don't be upset okay now this one fell off I can put this one here fit this around but I'm gonna hold it here and you see none of them are falling the reason why they were sliding off was because of how I was picking them up you see how they kind of come off Okay, I'm just letting you know that so in case you purchase this, you don't come at me and say, well, Michelle, you showed me this and look what's happening. I just want to share that with you. <laughs> All right, so you have one of two ways. I like to put um, the majority of my stamps facing this way in the front because I feel like that's the front and this is the back because it has the back of the little thingy in it. So that is where they sit now could they move around later pretty sure because we like to manhandle things but um yeah so i probably am just gonna put occasional tag die set on a little sticky and put it there but again i just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that i'm using i will put all the links in the description box below in case you're interested again i'm not affiliated with any of these products i'm just wanting to share with you what i found to be useful so thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me <laughs> and i hope you guys are on an organizational craziness track like i am um i will come back later with some more videos for you guys and hope you have a great rest of your day so stay crafty take care bye